Hi friends. I'm here to help explain the differences between two common pain medicines, acetaminophen and paracetamol. These drugs are actually the same thing, but go by different names in different parts of the world. Let's dive into all the important details so you really understand how they work. Where are they found? Acetaminophen is most commonly found in the United States, where it is best known by the brand name, Tylenol. You can buy Tylenol over the counter, without a prescription, at pretty much any pharmacy, grocery store, big box store or gas station. It comes in lots of forms like tablets, capsules, liquids and suppositories. Outside the US, this same drug is called paracetamol. Some places it's found include Europe. You can find it as paracetamol in places like the UK, France, Italy and beyond. Australia, New Zealand. Here the big brand is Panadol. India, commonly known as Crocin or Dolo 650. Parts of Asia. May be labeled Tylenol like in Japan, Thailand and the Philippines. No matter what it's called, it can usually be bought over the counter at local pharmacies and shops without a doctor's permission. In some countries like Australia, you can even find paracetamol combined with caffeine or antihistamines for different effects. What are the brand names? As we discussed, some common brand names for acetaminophen in the U.S. include Tylenol, Mapap and Tempra. For paracetamol internationally, popular brands are Panadol, Calpol and Dispril. But those aren't the only options. Here are a few more you may see. U.S., Actamin, Bromo Seltzer, Children's Tylenol, Infants Tylenol, Global, Alvadin, Europe, Metanol, Asia, Tylenol, Canada, Japan, Mexico. Manufacturers also create store brands like Equate or Up and Up that contain the same acetaminophen ingredient. No matter the brand, always follow the specific dosing instructions provided. And remember, taking multiple products containing either name could lead to an overdose. How are they used? Both acetaminophen and paracetamol are popular over-the-counter pain relievers for treating headaches, muscle, back, joint or menstrual aches, pains, fever from the common cold or flu, toothaches, sore throat, minor arthritis symptoms. They work by blocking your brain's pain and fever signals. Relief usually starts within 30 to 60 minutes and lasts around 4 to 6 hours. Sustained or extended release versions may provide relief for up to 8 hours. Interestingly, acetaminophen, paracetamol is also commonly combined with other meds. In the U.S., you may find it paired with antihistamines in nighttime products or decongestants in cold, flu formulas. Around the world, it's combined with caffeine or opioids on occasion as well. Though helpful for mild-moderate symptoms, acetaminophen and paracetamol are considered only preliminary treatment. See your doctor for anything severe or ongoing. And certain groups like pregnant women may need medical advice before use. Possible Side Effects For most people, acetaminophen, paracetamol is well tolerated with no issues. However, some possible side effects include upset stomach, nausea, vomiting, more common if taken on an empty stomach, constipation, skin rashes, rare allergic reaction, drowsiness, if combined with antihistamine. More seriously, taking too high of a dose can damage the liver. This is rare if taken as directed, but risks increase if Adults take more than 4,000 mg in a 24-hour period. Children under 12 take more than 5 doses in 24 hours. Combined with alcohol or other liver-stressing medications. Signs of potential liver injury can include upper stomach pain, fatigue, nausea and jaundice. Stop use immediately and consult your doctor right away if these occur. For most people, following standard dosing instructions minimizes side effect risks. 
but we all process meds differently. Talk to your healthcare provider if you have any questions or experience problems. Your health is top priority. Safe dosing guidelines. Now to discuss safe dosing. Remember, follow exact label instructions for the specific product you are using. Adults, children 12 plus, 325 to 500 milligrams every 4 to 6 hours as needed, up to 3,000 milligrams per day. Children under 12, use a graduated dosing chart based on age, weight. Ask doctor first for children under 2. Alternate with other acetaminophen products for fever control to avoid overdose. Don't exceed any maximum daily dosage without consulting a medical professional. If confused or uncertain, call your pharmacy. They are always happy to help ensure proper and safe usage of any medicine. Proper dosing is key to avoiding issues while still getting dependable pain relief. So, in summary, these two medicines, acetaminophen and paracetamol, offer effective over-the-counter treatment of common aches and pains when used as directed. Always be sure to follow the product-specific dosage correctly.